This is an introduction to pandas and how to do some basic data analysis. We're going to use file input to get our data into the pandas data frame environment and then output to Excel. So we're going to first of all get our data from this URL and we'll use pandas to read the CSV file. We'll do some things like you know generate a plot from the measured temperature values and the heater values and you know make the plot look nice so you know we can export it maybe for a presentation and then we also have uh, compute some basic statistics like minimum maximum average and standard deviation and we'll write a table in an Excel workbook that summarizes these statistics so we want to also open up the workbook with Excel to verify the solutions are written correctly. So I'm going to just start off here going into just a notebook. Here is the notebook, Jupyter Notebook, and we're going to start off with just importing pandas. Okay, we'll import pandas as PD. And the very first thing we want to do is go ahead and just read this URL. And we'll put that, in, I'll put that in the, um, you know, in the description of the video. And so when you do that, you import pandas and then read the URL. I'll do that just once. And then we can look at some of the data, like we could do print x.head. And that gives us some of the data. It looks a little bit like Excel, just with the rows and the columns there. And you can access, uh, for example, you know, individual values in here, like you do a dictionary. Okay, this is going to be temperature one, and if I want to print those, uh, let me go ahead and just do, uh, I need to put a close parenthesis there. Okay, there's temperature one, for example. So I just want to get the first five values of temperature one. Okay, there are the first five values of temperature one. Okay, but it's most, uh, I think it's very useful to have head, that'll give you five. And if you want to do more than five, let's say you want to do seven instead, then you just put in a seven there. But by default, if you leave that out, it's just going to do five. You can also look at the end of it as well. You can do tail, and that gives you the end rows of that data frame, just with the appropriate headings. Okay, so I'll just leave that as head, and then also print the tail. Okay, so we can see a little bit of the data there. I'll do insert a cell below. So there's just a description of some of the data. Now what we want to do is describe the data. We'll print some statistics on this. And I'll have this be S for statistics. And we'll do describe. And let's just print S. Okay, so this gives us uh, just some statistics on the data we had. 201 data points. This is just for the time. We had a mean value of about 300 and a maximum value of 600, minimum value of zero. Okay, so the data was collected over 600 seconds and uh, about evenly spaced there. You can see the quartiles here, 25%, uh, 50%, and 75%. And then same with the other data there, the heater values, temperature 1 and temperature 2. So this is something that we want to write to Excel. So what we want to do here is just do S to Excel and I'll just do test.xlsx and that will write this uh, table to Excel. Let's just go look for that. Um, we can come to you know, the desktop. Okay, there it is. It wrote that file. I'll minimize this and just go open this up with Excel. So let's, here you can see the data that was output by pandas uh, into Excel format. Okay, just some of the summary statistics that we saw previously. Okay, I'll go ahead and close that. Just make sure you close that again if you want to have it rewrite because Excel will lock the file for editing so you can't uh, you might have an error if that's open. Okay let's go ahead and plot some of the data now. We've uh, 
generated this we'll go ahead and insert a cell below and for this we'll need to import matplotlib.pyplot and if you want to be able to see uh, this inline here in the web page just do matplotlib inline okay so we're going to import that and then let's just generate a new figure and we'll have our first subplot okay let me get rid of those okay and now we're gonna have a couple subplots the way the subplot works is we're gonna have a two by one that's the, those are the first two numbers there and then I have my first subplot I tell it that's my first one and then my second subplot is down here below and you just leave these first two numbers the same for all of them it means you have two rows and one column in your plot okay and in here we're gonna just go ahead and plot uh, first of all give it a title okay I'm just gonna call this TC lab temperature control lab and then we'll plot our very first thing which is just gonna be plot and this will be X and with time in seconds okay that's gonna be our X uh, our label there if I want to shorten that because I'm going to be using that a lot I can just say time equals that and then we can also have you know T1 if I, I'm not really going to be using T1 uh, very m temperature one very much but I'll go ahead and just write that out for the temperatures okay so I'm just going to replace that with this is going to be temperature one and then temperature two okay and then uh, let's go ahead and just also include the heaters as well in my second subplot okay so that's going to be heater one and heater two okay I'll run this and let's just take a look at the plot okay PLT is not defined okay I forgot to do import matplotlib.pyplot as PLT okay so there is the data just plotted and let's just make it look a little bit better so I'm gonna add some things like labels and uh, you know to the trends themselves label I'll just say this is gonna be T1 and I'll put a okay I'll do a R in front of that that means it's going to just be a raw string no formatting there and it'll be a little bit of a LaTeX uh, I'll have an underscore there on my label and then when I do PLT dot legend location equals best and that's gonna move it out of the way of the plot you can see that it put the legend right here with T1 and T2 okay I can also um, here I can also add things like you know there's other things we might want to add like an X label or a Y label um, as well okay and um, okay let me just see okay so I'm gonna do this I'm gonna go ahead and just copy that and then that will be X X label and in here we will have uh, time and actually I just want to add that to the second subplot not to the first but we'll also need a Y label for this maybe this could be temperature in degrees Celsius and the Y label for this one let's make that one heater and that'll be in a percent okay so we're making this plot look just a little bit better um, it's, it's looking good right now uh, we need to add maybe heater one and heater two here so I'll just do label H1 uh, heater one and then heater two okay so that's uh, oh, we need to get our legend on there and I'll just copy this one location best 
and one more time okay there you can see it put in heater one and heater two now if somebody's colorblind you may want to change you know the how the plot looks and be able to distinguish you know between the different curves so for example I could do a black line and a red dashed line and that's going to be easier to be able to pick out uh, you know especially if somebody's colorblind I can change those for uh, this one as well a blue line and let's say a green dashed line dotted line there okay so it's going to be a little bit easier to pick out um, and then the other thing we want to do is maybe save this figure as well so let's save this as a PNG so we'll do save fig and we'll save the figure as myplot.png and you can adjust the resolution here you can say DPI equals 600 that's uh, dots per inch and you can go up higher it's just going to take longer okay you can also do transparent equals true so it won't put the white background it'll make it transparent so when we run this it's going to generate that plot and we'll see it right here you know my plot that's a little bit large right there let's just go um, into here you can see it's a transparent background okay and then when you insert it into something like PowerPoint and I'll just make a new slide here you know if we wanted to insert that in um, it's gonna look really nice you know high resolution plot that you can include like in a presentation okay so that is the summary of how to use pandas to generate a plot, generate some statistics that we can put in Excel. The plot can go into something like a PowerPoint presentation. Uh, so just to review, what we did is, first of all, just read the CSV from this URL. You can just put it in a web address as if, if it's available online. Uh, we looked at some of the head and tail okay, values from our data frame and then we described our data we just uh, computed some statistics saved it to Excel and then we generated the plots and saved our PNG file you can change that to whatever uh, you want here let's say EPS for example um, encapsulated postscript or others JPG and it'll just save it in that format Okay, so that's it for this uh, tutorial on Panda's data analysis.